Let's jump over to our man Teddy Kegstad. Folks, you can reach Teddy every trading day at his website, forex-trading-unlock.com. We talk to Teddy every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. Teddy Kegstad, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. We got a lot to talk about today. Is there stuff happening in the market, Teddy? What's going on, man? Just a um, little bit. <laughs> how, about, how about to kick it off, man? How about the volatility in crude? $10 in one way and $10 back up today, Teddy. Where do you want to kick things off? Uh, well, with crude, I think it's winding its coil, you know, so I mean we set a range, you know, at the beginning of the month with the, with the high, obviously, and a big um, higher swing low, and now it's kind of just, you know, getting tighter and tighter, and we're pretty much trading around that middle price of that new range that we've established. So I think right now, you got to wait for the breakout one way or another. If we go down, I think all you're going to do is kind of test those lows from a week and a half ago. Um, I don't see it breaking too hard. I would say that you would see it we're probably in a consolidation range right now for the most part. And there's a lot of uh, other reasons why that's coming into. Remember I told you way before we got to this level, you know, we, we – exploded up to these highs you know remember I said once we get to that 110 level consumers are going to start to be the drag on the market so it doesn't matter about supply demand is going to diminish you know and we are starting to see that so I think that's kind of why the oil market is volatile without a doubt you know I'd be very careful trying to sell this market that's for sure um, but I think that's why you're seeing a consolidation right now and I am overall still bullish um, I think one of the biggest things we need to talk about is what the Bank of Japan uh, did and the Japanese government did on Monday. Are you aware of what they did? I'm not, but I pulled up the chart and I'm aware of the move that it had. So what's going on okay. with the yen? Okay, well, let me explain this to you. Um, I am now short the U.S. dollar yen, and you know I've been long for you okay, know, eight months. Okay, this is months. a good one. Let's hear okay. it, because I know this is a change, for sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. The gold bugs so, are going to like this. Let's go. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I knew you would like this. That's why I wanted to get into this. So here's what happened. Okay, on Monday, the uh, Japanese uh, government and the Bank of Japan said that they are not going to allow their currency to be devalued anymore. OK, so Ooh. now you realize that it's not just the dollar that's been strong versus the yen. I've been saying all the crosses versus the yen have been in a bull market, you know, so the yen has been just getting pounded. So they, they drew a line in the sand on Monday. They said there's no way they're letting the U.S. dollar yen get uh, above 130. OK, OK. So that means they are definitely and they said that raising interest rates is on the table. Now, when was the last time you heard the Bank of Japan say they were going to raise interest rates? Yeah. OK. And. Yeah. Bank of Japan is not like, and, the, and their uh, their government is not like our Fed and our government, where they're way behind the curve, and they're also not going to do a quarter point or something like that. Like they would do something like I would think they would do. They would do like what the Swiss would do. Instead of doing a quarter point, they're going to do at least a half a point. They may be do a, a whole percentage point Just right bring away. It, right. Yeah. Just bring it. Well, especially. If the market rallies up to 130, they're putting the brakes on. They're not going to do a quarter point and see what it does. Sure. They're going to say, yeah. we're going to get in front of this market because no one can control the market. But if you make right. a move like that, you can cause enough of a reaction where prop I mean, people are not going to fade that in the short run. OK. Yeah. And I think yeah. you can expect that to happen. OK. So I'm still, you know, right now, all the fundamental factors are there that would support the bull market, you know, that's going on. But this change in tune is huge. OK. And then the thing that followed this is that the Fed, our U.S. Fed, came and reiterated how they may actually do a half a point at the next time, you know, which I've been saying for a long time, instead of doing a quarter, they should do at least a half a point and do it for several times to catch up, you know. So and I think that the U.S. Fed is now they have a little noose on their neck saying, oh, geez. You know, this war the central banks began last summer. The U.S. finally got in. And with what's going on because of, you know, the, the lockdowns and everything and the supply chains, you know, look what's happened to the Japanese economy. They were the first ones to open up back in December fully. You know, they had the engines turning on. And just what we've seen in the past two weeks, you know, yes, I was happy the last couple of times we've talked. Well, of course, I've been long. It's been going sideways for months. But now the Japanese know that, you know, in the, initially it was helping their exports. OK, but now it's getting to the point where they're not making any money. They're, the, everything's cost yeah. more for them to do. And it's great for us because the dollar is strong, but not, they're not going to sell anything if they can't make a profit. You sure. know, so yeah. and I think what you're going to see now is this is one of the big reasons why you're seeing the dollar index in a short term correction, because the yen obviously is coming back. OK, so yeah. dollar strength is losing there. Now you have the euro and the pound, which are the two biggest components also that have been railing for the past couple sessions okay now i would be leery like right here's the thing is 
everything is in a corrective mode right now and you have to view it. The US dollar yen, am I calling a top? No, but I think it's gonna be really hard to make a run up towards newer highs right now. Now, if oil starts to explode and the, tre and the treasury bond market and the 10 year notes start to go back on lows, which right now they're retreating to the upside, you know, if yes. that goes back to their major, major trend, well, then the U.S. dollar yen is going to make new highs and go towards that 130 mark, you know. Okay. So, and that's when we know that then we have to watch out for the BOJ. And they're telling you, we're talking about the samurais. They're going to come out as soon as that number hits. I, they're not going to say we're going to have a meeting in two weeks. They're going to sure. actually do it overnight, whatever. It's going to come. It's going to be like a Pearl Harbor strike. You know, because that's pretty so, intense when you tell the market too, right? Then they know absolutely. kind of where the, the line is in the sand, man. Yeah, that, right. That, yeah. So so and this impacts, obviously, the gold market, all kinds of other markets, you know, so I think that you really have to watch the yen right now. And it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out, you know, it's because the, the rest of the news isn't covering this, you know, which is I was stunned because on Monday, you know, I obviously was watching it Sunday night. I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at this is up at 123, 124, 125. You know, it pulls back a point and a half. And I'm like, well, this is normal. It just had such a huge rally. But I'm like, well, let me see what's going on with right, the news. I, cu digging, I couldn't sure. find anything, you know. But then when I saw what happened with the announcement, I'm like, how is this not breaking news on CNBC? Sure. You sure. know, like this is huge for our interest rate market, for the currency markets, yep. and for us buying stuff from Japan. You know, yep. I realize that Hondas and Toyotas are made here, but we still buy stuff from Japan. <laughs> sure. No, totally, man. And you know? that's why we appreciate you having it on, man. Such great information. So. And it's really remarkable how much is in the news right now, man. And mm -hmm. that's probably part of it, let alone Sunday night and Monday, all the talk about Will Smith and his performance. But we'll leave that for, for everybody but isn't else. Isn't that crazy? But, that overshadows the Bank of Japan. It's it, <laughs> You know, Teddy, it's remarkable. But then you add in all, I mean, we got, we just got ADP private, private payrolls, right? You got non-farm um, mm -hmm. coming up. You had President Biden and his remarks about Russia over the weekend. It's just sure. so much going on. Um, so just, I want to get your take real quick from the rates. It's, I find it so remarkable that, and I agree with you, and I think there's a lot of people, City put out their expectation, which is 450 basis point hikes and then two for the six mm -hmm. meetings. So you're talking about, you know, basically almost 10 hikes if you mm -hmm. add them all up of a quarter point over the next six meetings. So you're not the only one, and I agree. But then you look at the market that's, you know, within 175 points. We got about 45 seconds. What do you think about the market if we get that type of action, which many people think we may, man, whether it's 50 basis points once or twice? Um, what do you think the market's going to do as we, we come into that? And I know you're Forex, but what mm -hmm. do you, what's your take on the general markets as well, we get this bounce? interest rates are, are a function of currency pricing, so I'm all over the interest rate markets. I think you're going to see the Treasury bonds trading around 108, 105, probably by September. You know, by the okay. September roll. You know, if okay. we do get those, that kind of a degree of rate hikes so over yeah. the next few months, for sure, we'll see it down All right. there. So, perfect, big bear. Teddy man. Thank you so All much right. for the time for the update. We, okay. we look forward to talking to you next week, man. All right, Tommy. Take care. Have a great one. Folks.